So if you watch NLBC or any East Coast tournaments, chances are you've heard of a soccer player called Space Boy. Um, and I recently had the privilege of talking to him uh, through Twitch DMs. And he gave me some very beneficial advice that I would like to share with you guys. And I think that it's pretty simple, and you've probably heard it before. But the way that he explained it uh, really put it into perspective how important it is to use this resource if you want to improve at a decent pace. And that is just watching your replays, right? And the way that he explained it is that watching your replays is the most optimized practice that you can get without even having to play the game, right? Because you're watching all of your mistakes in real time, and you're able to do things like uh, this, right? You can turn on a attack data and, and learn frame data while you're watching yourself screw up. Which, it, if you're anything like me, um, when you see it once, you, you pretty much got the gist of it, right? If you see you, yourself do a mistake once, chances are you're not going to do that mistake again. And I think that the replay system is highly underused um, by lower ranks, and uh, I'm not sure about higher ranks, right? By me personally, it's, it's very underused. I very much came from the school of thought that the best way to get better is to just play better people and just, you know, get bodied over and over again. But to pair that with the replay system is is like doubling your experience, right? It's like if you're playing <laughs> if you're playing RuneScape and it's double XP weekend, right? Because <laughs> you're pairing up you getting mauled with uh, with a replay that that's telling you what you're doing wrong. Now I realize that sometimes it can be hard to watch your losses, right? Um, it can be really hard to look at it right after you've just lost because you're salty and maybe you have an idea why you've already lost, right? Um, for example, I played a set right before this where I lost to Seth Tick Throws, right? I, I took about half HP in Seth's Tick Throws um, because I, I kept trying to check his dash when he would dash up to, to throw me instead of just teching. So I understood that. Um, so after I lost, I was so upset that I didn't, I didn't want to watch it, right? I, I knew why I lost. Um, but still, it, it's important to check those too because there's things that you're going to miss. It's especially important to do that in matchups that you don't know, right? So for me, like, Dawson is a really hard matchup. Uh, personal, personally, a really hard matchup. Uh, sometimes Honda can be if they're a really competent Honda. And other, other characters that uh, give Karen problems generally, right? Like Poison, Donors. Uh, those are, are really important to highlight and, and keep to watch whenever you're in the right mindset. Having the right mindset while you're watching the replays is really important too because you're not going to learn by uh, watching the replay and calling your opponent a scrub, right? It's, it's just not going to work out. And I completely understand not wanting to watch it because you're salty. I, I feel that, right? I, I have, you know, this game gets me way more upset than any other game I play because the only person to blame is yourself. So it, it's important to take the time to calm down and, uh, you know, revisit the game with a level head so you can study what you did wrong and, and you obviously don't uh, do it over again. And, I mean, I've been playing the game for about a year now and it's uh, it's only recently come to my attention that I should have been watching my replays this entire time. It's never too late and it's never too early to start either. Like I said in my previous videos, if people your rank aren't doing something, you should be doing it, right? If people, if you're in bronze and you know your opponents aren't watching the replays or, you know, they're not studying tech, you should be doing it so you can get past them. It's never too early and it's never too late to implement new things and new strategies to, you know, uh, get better. And it's important to figure out how you learn too, right? I think the biggest fear I have is telling myself that I've hit a wall or a plateau. Um, I don't feel like I have yet in this game, and I say yet. Um, you know, sparingly, because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to hit a wall. I don't want to feel that emptiness or, or, you know, that helplessness that I'm stuck and I can't figure out why. And the reason why I haven't hit that wall is because I, I'm always trying to add new things. Or, you know, if I don't know something, I'm trying to find match footage or anything just to get a leg up or figure out why I'm, I'm having such a hard time. I think sometimes in this game especially, your biggest strengths are your weaknesses because they, they're telling you what you need to work on. And eventually, you know, those weaknesses will become your strengths. Uh, for me, obviously I, I 
want to work on my anti airs a lot more because I think they're pretty weak right now. But by training that, obviously I'm becoming a stronger player, and hopefully in the future I don't struggle with it as much, and it becomes one of my, you know, strengths. And another thing I'd like to work on is uh, meter usage, because I think I burn a lot of meter very unnecessarily uh, a lot of the time. I'd like to work on keeping my meter to uh, kill rather than just uh, uh, burning it for no reason and taking, like, raw damage. And those are just a few things that I've been told, and I've also come to the conclusion myself by watching replays, playing the games, and all around just losing. <laughs> losing and, uh, you know, winning alike. It's important to watch your wins, too, right? We watched a set here, and I lost, and I won, and I lost. Um, but obviously you have to pick yourself up after you've, you've fallen, right? So make sure to bask in your glory while still uh, relishing in your losses. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned some today, and I hope you enjoy it. Just a quick guide on a pretty important topic.